وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد This is our fourth episode and our third lesson after the introduction So we did the introduction and then we did our first lesson and then the second lesson and here inshallah ta'ala we're going to do the third lesson bi idhnillah al karim in this episode or in this lesson inshallah ta'ala i want to speak about sunan al sawm the supererogatory acts that should be done in fasting the voluntary acts that a person can do uh, fasting and inshallah ta'ala i'm going to mention five things bi idhnillah al karim that are voluntary that a person should do uh, the first is a suhoor eating suhoor the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said on the hadith or on the authority of anas ibn malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said tasahharu fa inna fi suhoor barakah have suhoor for verily in the suhoor there is barakah there is blessings. Muttafaqun alayhi Bukhari and Muslim both narrated. Having suhoor has barakah in it. Barakah in terms of reward and also barakah in terms of your health. When you eat suhoor, you are energized and you're strong enough to fast that whole entire day. So the first thing that I encourage you all to do is not to miss suhoor. And not to uh, lose that reward uh, in having suhoor. Number two is ta'jeel al-iftar. Hastening the iftar. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لا يزال الناس بخير ما عجل الفطرة. The people will be upon good as long as they hasten their iftar. As long as they hasten the breaking of the fast at Maghrib time. Sahar ibn Sa'ad al-Sa'idi radiyallahu ta'ala anhu narrated it and it's found in Bukhari and Bukhari and Muslim. So hastening the iftar is a sign of good amongst the people. As long as the people are hastening the iftar, there is a sign of good. And you find subhanallah some people who love to show that they are strong enough and that they are uh, capable of carrying on their fasting so they say inshallah i won't eat anything now i'll just wait for isha or after taraweeh and they won't eat anything and they think this is a good sign but the truth is the person who's uh, better and greater is the one who breaks his fast as soon as possible as soon as the time comes in uh, maghrib time he breaks his fast straight away the Prophet ﷺ, he said on the authority of Umar radiallahu anhu, he said that the Prophet ﷺ said, إِذَا أَقْبَلَ اللَّيْلُ مِنْ هَا هُنَا وَأَدْبَرَ النَّهَارُ مِنْ هَا هُنَا وَغَرَبَتِ الشَّمْسُ فَقَدْ أَفْطَرَ الصَّائِمُ مُتَّفَقٌ عَلَيْهِ If the sun uh, comes from this direction, the, sorry, the darkness comes from this direction, and the daytime turns its back this direction, and the sun sets, the Prophet said, فَقَدْ أَفْطَرَ الصَّائِمُ The one who is fasting breaks his fast. And he straight away. The minute this all happens, he breaks his fast. He doesn't wait and sit around. He doesn't uh, wait for Isha. The minute the sun sets, he breaks his fast. The third thing, inshallah ta'ala, that should be done is الْإِفْطَارُ عَلَى التَّمْرِ Break your fast uh, with dates. Uh, Abu Dawood narrated in his Sunan in Hadith Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu he said Kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yuftiru ala rutubatin 
that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to break his fasting ala rutabatin upon rutab. A rutab is a fresh date. Um, qabla an yusalliya, before he would pray. So the Prophet would make his fast with that fresh date before he even prays. فَإِلَّمْ takun rutubatun If there was no fresh dates, فَعَلَى تَمْرِينَ The Prophet would break his fast uh, with dry dates. فَإِلَّمْ takun And if he couldn't find those dry dates, حَسَى حَسَوَاتٍ He would sip water. حَسَى حَسَوَاتٍ مِنْ مَاءٍ He would sip water. عليه الصلاة والسلام so what we have is that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam yufdiru ala rutabatin qabla an yusalliya. Before he prays, he would make sure alayhi salatu wasallam that he break his fast with fresh dates. فَإِلَّمْ تَكُنْ رُطَبَاتٌ And if he couldn't find fresh dates, he would do it upon what? فَعَلَى تَمَرَاتٍ He would do it with dry dates. فَإِلَّمْ تَكُنْ What about if he couldn't find dry dates? sallallahu alayhi wasallam حَسَى حَسَوَاتٍ مِنْ مَاءٍ then he would sip water, alayhi salatu wasalam, and then he would pray. So those are the three. Look for fresh dates. If you can't find them, go for the dry dates. And if you can't find them, then go for uh, water. The fourth, inshallah ta'ala, sunnah that should be followed is iktharu uh, sadaqati wa qira'atul qur'an. Hasten, hasten inshallah ta'ala, and also in, hasten to and increase in reciting the Qur'an and giving sadaqah. Um, Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he said, كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أجود الناس The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was the most generous of people. وكان أجود ما يكون في رمضان And the time that he would be the most generous was in the month of Ramadan حين يلقاه جبريل when Jibreel would meet him. وكان جبريل يلقاه في كل ليلة من رمضان and Jibreel would meet him every night in Ramadan فَيُدَارِسُهُ الْقُرْآنَ And he would study with him and revise with him the Qur'an. فَلَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ The Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم حين يلقاه جبريل when Jibreel would meet him he was أجود بالخير من الريح المرسلة He was more generous صلى الله عليه وسلم than the ريح المرسلة the scent wind. Pay attention here. The hadith is found in Bukhari and Muslim. Two things are mentioned about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is iktharu sadaqat, he would give a lot, Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, wa qira'ati, ama wa qira'atul qur'ani, he would read a lot of Qur'an. Iktharu sadaqati, he would give a lot of sadaqah, Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, and wa qira'atul qur'ani, and he would recite the Qur'an a lot, Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. Number five, tarkul kalam al-fahishi, leave off, uh, unnecessary, vulgar speech. And this is based on a hadith uh, narrated by uh, Abu Hurairah and it's found in Sahih al-Bukhari that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi has said, Man lam yada' qawla zuri Anyone who doesn't leave off idle speech, wal'amala bihi falaysa lillahi hajatun an yada'a an yada'a ta'amahu wa sharabah For you to leave off drinking and eating and then you are indulging in idle speech and you're speaking about things that are wrong, Allah doesn't have any need from you to fast, uh, to break your fast from you. Uh, Allah hasn't got any need, sorry, for you to fast from food and drinking whilst you're indulging into that. The whole idea of fasting, my beloved brothers and sisters, is that you fast from food, you fast from idle speech, you, your, your tongue fasts, your stomach fasts, your, your mouth fasts, their ears and your eyes and your... You fast from all of your body. And it's not just, oh, I'm going to stay away from food. Oh, I'm just going to stay away from uh, drinking and eating and sexual intercourse. That's a part of fasting. So, مَن لَمْ يَدْعَ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ أَنْ يَدْعَ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be from those who, inshallah ta'ala, come with these sunan, these acts uh, in the uh, month of Ramadan. Inna huwa liyu dhalika wal qadir alayh. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illallah, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum. If you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to keep up to date with all of the courses we're going to be running, make sure you head over to amauathome.com.